came out on top as a Rick Belmont player myself. Right. Uh, this matchup is Ricky. hard. Yeah, this, this matchup is uh, hard. Uh, you know, rocking the, the green outfit, a.k.a. as Hazmat once put it, the Pickle Richter. So... <laughs> So, uh, oh boy, we'll see how it shakes out here, man. This, this matchup is is hard for the Belmonts. Any sort of character with like insane offstage presence can really give these characters as, fits. As yeah. you say that, Dark Falcon off to a really good start, calling out all those jumps. I mean, that's the thing is that the zoners in this game, you know, they they throw a projectile out, right, and then they they make you want to jump, and their whole game is to anti-air you. The way to beat zoners is that you don't jump, but then you're left with, okay, what do I do? Do yep. I shield? Do I just stand here? But the thing is, Wolf has a reflector. Wolf has a laser. And Jude Jackal opting to not even use that stuff. He's just, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to take a bunch of hits. But when I get in, I'm going to do a million damage and possibly kill his yeah. character. Sometimes it's not even worth going for the reflector because, like, the cross on the back hit doesn't really do that much. Yeah. Um, the things you really have to be mindful of, obviously, are the holy water at the ledge. Holy water, one of the best projectiles that the Belmonts have to play with. But, you know, if you know the counterplay to it, uh, it's really not that bad. Uh, Especially in a scenario like this, you know, the, the Belmonts are, you know, pretty slow off stage. Uh, fighting the Belmonts is a lot like fighting, like, a lesser version of Snake. You know, when you're in disadvantage, as the backer will kill right there, when you're in disadvantage against the Belmonts, it sucks. It feels like it's never going to end. Right. When they're in disadvantage, they can die off the yeah, way it's of like, how do I lose when I'm doing this to you, yeah. you know? And the thing is, I was actually just talking to Jackal about this earlier today. He was saying how, like, his new mentality against zoners in general is, like, in ultimate, you just have to play the mini game with them. I, but too often do people try to like camp them out and, and force them to approach. In this game, they have the tools for that. You don't want to necessarily like the counterplay isn't to camp them out. You just have to play their mini game and play it better than them. And when you finally get an advantage, you have to close out those stocks, ledge trap them to death, don't let them land. Yep. And we're seeing Jude, we're seeing Jackal do that. He hasn't really shot the laser. He hasn't really used the reflector. He's just going in there. Yeah, listen, that's what you can you can do. This is definitely a matchup where if you're, you know, Richter, you definitely may uh, lean more on your normals, you know, using more whip than you are projectile because there yeah. is that ever looming factor of the reflector. Uh, but Dark Falcon's doing a good job, you know, finding a good middle ground between both. But still, you know, it is Jackal that is winning the percent game right now. I mean, the thing about Jackal is, I mean, he is, uh, ooh, I mean, he is just doing such a great job of like he gets in and it's like all right man you're taking a 140 you know what i mean great recovery there avoiding the axe and the holy water yeah again that like holy it. brita yeah. that you get that holy water from <laughs> that's I, i'm just i need a mod of, of uh rick destroying a a, like a pitcher i got you uh. <laughs> richter's definitely the spokesperson for the holy brita <laughs> It's like, yo, just yeah. hook this up to your New York yeah. tab, bro. An underrated... Okay, the dash and I will kill right Beautiful. there. I was going to say, an underrated aspect of the Belmonts is that they are very, very heavy. They're, like, right outside of that range of, like, the, of the, you know, the big heavyweight characters. So they definitely uh, have some durability to them. But, you know, the counter to that is that, you know, their recovery isn't that great. So you don't right. really get to see that showcased very often. So I mean, what you're seeing here is that people often fight a zoner like Richter or like Samus, and they respect everything. And Jude is like, no, the way that you have to do this is you have to disrespect them. And Wolf has better buttons. I'm going to show you that. And he's just, he's chasing him. Like, he's chasing yeah. him and winning. Like, he does not care. Most people would just opt for stage control. And it's like, no, dude, against these zoners, you got to smother them. You got to get in there. And that was a perfect example of that right there. Yep, yeah, as you see, the slant stages being banned from Jackal here. And again, uh, banning you know, Lila and banning Yoshis. Yep, yeah, you see Jackal, some excess one. Look at that. Two. Three, three. smacks. <laughs> and perfect timing on that the third one. Just to, yeah, the cross was on the back swing there. So. Yeah, and it's like, did he Z axis through it? Yeah. Like, he just matrixed through it? Ah, ah, ah. That was ah. beautiful. Beautiful play from uh, Jackal. I mean, it's funny. I mean, this is Losers Finals, but he. He's looking, like, so comfortable, man. Like, this has been a really stacked bracket. I mean, there are people... Losers finals, like... Yep. Okay, so Mr. E, Sinji, uh, a bunch of other players did not yeah. make it to losers finals. This, this is, is losers semis. Losers finals coming up next. Oh, losers finals on deck. Yeah. I apologize. But keep in mind, this is a three... This is a best two out of three. So, Jackal wins this next game. Yeah. Uh, he has advanced on to best three out of five territory uh, against Vivi. So... You know, we'll see how it shakes down here. I think the stage is great for Richter. You know, you have a small, you know, smaller uh, area that your uh, projectiles can control, and you have the added benefit of a platform above you. So definitely protects you against characters, you know, Tom Hawking in on top of you. So we'll see how it 
shakes out here for Dark Falcon, or if uh, Jackal will again crack the code on uh, fighting the Vampire Killer. Yeah, he's like, bro, I am not a vampire. <laughs> like, I'm literally just a wolf, dude. Like, like none of this matters. Like, yeah. holy water? Raw Scooby Doo wolf. Well, there are Lobos in Castlevania, so. Man, and you know what's what's been interesting is that we really haven't seen Jackal lose a single stock to the Holy Water at the ledge. Like, usually, you'll see, like, that ledge trap is very effective, and it'll lead to an F smash. And that's how a lot of Richters and Simons take stocks. But it hasn't really been working out. He's been mixing up his recovery. He's been mixing up his timing. And he's been avoiding that setup altogether. Yeah, outside of that one exchange where he got nicked by it and died to the F tilt, he's really uh, done all right. And yeah. Yep. Unfortunate there for Dark Falcon up Esports Creek without a paddle. Uh, you know, unfortunately when when the Richter, when the Belmonts you know, are forced to use a resource, their uh, you know their range isn't necessarily uh, you know, when they're down that low, it's really hard to get back to the stage. So yeah, great tomahawk grab there earlier that led to all this damage that we're seeing right now. I mean, I think Dark Falcon just thought, all right, he's gonna land with another fair, and every now and then Jude Jackal will just like land with a with no aerial and just grab it. I love I love watching the RPS of that. Just yeah. conditioning it and then doing the other option. Ooh, Jackal's gonna miss his grab there, so Dark Falcon gonna be able to advance forward with the down tilt. Now has the ledge trap on deck here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there Great we go. Stuff. He got yep. it there. That was that was really nice that he angled the uh, he angled the back air yes. to hit below the ledge. Yeah, that's a, definitely an underrated uh, you know Belmont uh, kill confirm at the ledge because, like you said, people are so used to seeing the uh, the holy water to the F smash that you have to really you know kind of mix up your uh, your kill confirms right there, and that's definitely one of them that you see utilize a lot. And that's a stock doing an up B on block that is not safe, my guy. Gonna send, he sent them all the way in that star KO, like, to Tom Nook. He's like, bro, get out of here. Yeah, so again, the, the, the scary part about the Belmont clan is that at any percent, you can literally die, especially in a matchup like this, where all, Jude, all Jackal has to do is just kind of, you know, catch uh, Richter using a, a, a resource, and uh, all he has to do is just drop down with a Nair, and it's pretty much GG's at that point. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we're seeing is so scary. Oh, he got no, the fair man. to dip back air. Oh, boy. <laughs> And you can see Dark Falcon is deflated, bro. He felt that bear in his chest. Yeah. He was like, bro, why'd you do that, man? Yeah. He memed on me. And I mean, the Blast Zones are really close to uh, the ledge on Smashville. So, my guy. Yeah, so take a look here. Jackal with look at the this. forward throw. You missed, you teched in place, and then you got forward air to raw bear. Oh. Yeah, Director looks like he's in pain when he gets hit by that. And we say, Dude. That, that's, that was rough, man. He's not a light character. For him to die, at, he just died God, at 105 after I think he's like number eight like in regards to like total weight. Yeah, like he's, he's not he's a, a stocky he's not a, boy. He's My a bulky boy. He's ripped. Yeah. Shout out.